Welcome to Metrics in Exponia. Metrics are numbers from your data that are used in dashboards, reports, and everywhere around Exponia. Commonly used metrics are total revenue, the number of unique visitors or buyers in a given period, the conversion rate, and etc. For instance, when you go to your dashboard, these integers that you see right here, these calculations, are basically matrices that you can create in Exponia. So because they're so important, let's go over how we will work with them. Let's, if you want to create an, expo, an Exponia metrics, you go to Data and Assets and click on Adding a New Metrics. There are a few things that you can work around with this place. The first one is to select whether you want to work with a simple metric or a formula. A simple metric is only based on a single event type, whereas a formula allows you to calculate a number using multiple simple metrics together. So let's go over what I've created. In a formula right here, I would like to know what kind, what percentage of people from all the visitors to our academy place actually applied for that place, for, for a course. So with the simple event that I've plugged in, there might be more attributes or a better examination of this place. But a simple event like this will be divided by the total amount of visitors with the first session start and the first click of these people and then multiply it by 100 so we get a percentage. This would be the formula which I can use in this case. The second thing I would like to we can work with is a format. So if we in this drop down menu allows you to select the output format of your metrics and there are four different things that you can work with. It's the default then you can work with a certain date. So the default will be a simple number. You can then work with the date format, you can work with date part, date difference, and numeric. All of these can be explained in more details and you can find more about this in our documentation to know which is the best to use, but for now let's simply select the default setting. Then you can work with data aggregation rules. So in this place, in a simple metric, the same way as you work with formulas, you can select exactly what you're accounting for. So if I'm accounting for minimum or it's the total sum of them and if we're looking at users or events. Similarly, as both in a formula or a simple matrix, we can add filters so that then our so we are actually looking forward exactly the number of things that we're interested in. Once the metric is selected and we are saved it, we can use it in our report, in our analyses, in uh, in segmentations or even dashboards as we've shown before. This is really certain number which we can which can express certain information that we're looking for, which is quite useful in then analyzing our customers or events. So this is metrics in Exponia.